a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel Watch Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest G's the home of news and politics for this channel we they drop news every day and we they react to every videos where it comes our way and our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk on as it be if today now the first time we say they come across this channel you are highly welcome thank you so much for stopping by and if you are returning subscribers i appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel i say may god bless all of you now in jesus name Amen. I get video way I want to present to Una this very moment. And I go to follow Una. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Tomorrow, any killing, any more by the military in Biafra land. I, you see, don't even go to engage them. You don't have what it takes to fight the military. But there are people who will do everything to defend our land against those military. And they know themselves. But you see you, every group in Biafra land, I am not just talking to every group. I am not just talking to a particular group now. I'm talking of every group, every armed group, every group in Biafra land. Any killing anymore of our children. Any killing any more of our women, any burning of our community again, any burning of shops or marketplaces again, just to annihilate us. From tomorrow, no roadblock. Any place they molest anybody in Bia we want to we want them to show us the same roadblock in the northern Nigeria. We want to see how many roadblock do you have in Katsina State. We want to see how many roadblocks of the military you have in Sokoto State. These are the places where the bandits have taken over, mounted their flag. If you cannot show that to us from tomorrow the 15th, it is going to be a guerrilla warfare in self-defense. It is going to be a guerrilla warfare for self-defense. We are going to defend our land. You see the way Ukrainians are defending their land? That is the same way we are going to defend our land against whoever come. If you like, you are a, one of the military that they have paid to come to kill our women, we are going to raise men. From tomorrow, men will rise up in Biafra land. It is going to be a guerrilla warfare. Once your message is passed to you, you will know how serious we are. There will be no killing anymore. It is enough. We will defend this land with everything in us. We are going to defend you. Even, even at the ICC or anywhere you call us, we will be there to answer. We are going to defend the land just the way the Ukrainians are defending themselves. So it is not a particular group. Every group that have anything you have, any weapon you have at all, from tomorrow, you should be out. And you know, you know where to go. Once they kill anybody, just, and you have to, every killing must be verified. Every burning of houses and villages must be verified. Once you verify that the military have done it, go to the national, uh, the, to the state house of assembly, start from the commissioner, start from the state executive, make sure they never sleep in their house again. They need to leave to the responsibility. We did, you did not vote them in to collect money and kill you. You did not vote them in to bring in killers from the northern Nigeria into the southeast to kill you. You vote them in for them to represent your interest. Your interest is first. And your interest is not for your villages to be burnt down and creating IDP camp. And I want to tell you one thing. When Fulani was killing and butchering our women and our children, you did not see the military. Have you ever seen? Have you ever? I want to ask you one question. Have you ever seen anywhere that there was a news that military engaged the killer's herdsmen? I want you to answer that question. 
in the history of Nigeria, in the history of this jihad, in the history of this ethnic cleansing. I want you to tell me, have you ever heard anywhere that the military engaged the killers? By the way, by this, this week or this, before the coming week, we are writing to the European Union, to the European Union, to the EU Commission President, and we are going to inform her about Biafra. Before this next week, and we are not hiding anything. Of course, there are things we are going to keep secret, but just to inform you, by next week, they are going to hear from us. All these things are just for formality. <laughs> okay? So that they are going to have knowledge that Ose to go. And if anybody think that what we are going to be doing going forward is wrong, they should go and live our life in Biafra land. First of all, they will drop their nationality from where they come from. I was uh, reading the reason why the European Union and the NATO are going against, against Russia is because they say they don't want to allow people to leave self-determination of Ukrainians. And I begin to ask, ask myself, self-determination for Ukrainians? Ukraine, Ukraine is a sovereign nation. Are the sovereign nation also fighting for self-determination? <laughs> because that was what a lot of them are telling people in Europe. That Russia is interfering in the right to self-determination of Ukraine. I did not know that, uh, you know, a nation that already have independence, that people can also interfere to the right to the self-determination. But do you know why they, you know, do you know why they use the word self-determination of Ukrainian? Do you know why? Because it is about the self, the right to choose NATO. The right to choose NATO. So if, uh, Ukraine, if Ukraine, as an independent state, as a sovereign state, can be agitating for self-determination to join NATO, and we, the black people in Africa also decide to continue to fight for our self-determination. And the oil you are using in Europe is coming from our land, just like the way you are using the oil from Russia. And you pay no attention to our problems, but you pay attention to natural resources coming from our land. Is that not evil? Is that not enough reason for hell to let loose? You see, the only problem, the only, the only difference between us and what is happening around the world is that we are not suicide bombers. It is not in our blood. It is not in our culture. We are not people that take their life to make a point. That is the reason why Iraq have not repeated in Biafra or in Nigeria, because this time around it's Nigeria. That is why Syria have not happened in Nigeria. That is why Libya, the state of, the state of Libya, the situation of Libya have not repeated itself in Nigeria, because where the oil is coming from are predominantly Christians. Our culture is different. We do not take life of people. But had it been that this oil is located in Borono State, had it been that this oil is located in Kano State, worse than Iraq, who would have witnessed it? We would have seen even Libya times two. We may have even seen worse than Syria. 
and maybe we will no longer be even agitating because they could have they would have chased us away but now the reverse is the case so the point i am trying to make is that the world pay no attention to black man the racism is too much i am giving it a racial a racial profiling i am giving the biafra situation racial profiling because of our natural resources we are going to fight this thing in and out and it need men with mental toughness it is not it is not uh, uh, coming to take microphone and count word it is either you are in or you are out. 